Welcome back to BuzzFeed High, everyone. Things are gonna be a little bit different. I feel like I'm gonna fail at all. And I'm exhausted. The pressure's on. You cheated! Hi, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Lindsay. And this is Redo, where we go back to high school and try not to make the same mistakes twice. This time, we're gonna get homeschooled for an entire week. Obviously, we're in a pandemic, so we are eight feet apart from each other. Because just because we're friends doesn't mean we're immune. So obviously, due to the current situation, a lot more kids are being homeschooled than ever before. So we're gonna just dive in and kind of experience a little bit of what it's like. So this week, we're going to have to attend e-classes. We're going to have to do homework. Then at the end of the week, there's a big test to see if we actually passed homeschooling. School. I think in college I had at least one online course, but I was actually one of those kids that like didn't do anything until the last week. I took my <laughs> teen driver's course online. <laughs> I know it was weird. It was a CD. That's so weird. I was a shy kid. I didn't want to interact. But that's the one thing you should interact with. So my significant other, Kate, is a high school teacher. What I've learned from watching Kate teach online, it's hard to get kids to participate. Because I was super confused what homeschooling meant in today's world, I went to Twitter and I asked the teens, what do you guys do? <laughs> Basically, it's just up to the teachers to decide what rules they want to enforce upon the kids. But at the same time, they said it's a lot harder because it's just hard to pay attention. Welcome back to BuzzFeed High, everyone. It's a whole new school year and things are gonna be a little bit different. We're transitioning to online classes. Each teacher will have their own set of rules. Make sure to be respectful, be on time. We need to interact in some way. We need to turn on our homework and no cheating or distractions. There will be a test at the end of each class to see what you've learned. And I'll be watching. I'm at my house, my guitar. Pretty lonely. Anyway, you can have fun as long as you follow the rules. Who do you think's gonna do better at being homeschooled? Okay, how this usually works is that I don't care and I do better and you care the most and you don't do as good. I wanna win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to school. All right, to homeschool. <laughs> the first day of school. What's nice is I don't have to wake up that early and to catch the bus. I'd say it's going great so far. Normally, on my first day of school, I would dress really, really cute. You know, you have a whole outfit. Today, since it's from the comfort of my own home, I might just wear a dress. The first day, I wore something cute, but I didn't expect you to show up cute. Yes! And you did. I was really confused on what to wear as my first day outfit because it's like over Zoom and like no one's even see my bottoms. This is my outfit. I will say no one sent us a dress code. So there is a little something here. We'll see if anyone notices. I am going to be working right here on my little couch. Just want to give you a little tour of my cute desk face and I'm ready to go. So our first class was biology with our teacher Cheska. Okay class, nice to have you guys again. It's been a while since our physics class. If you're on the couch, there's no force yeah. to get you off the couch. You're not gonna get off the couch till Jasmine calls you and says like, let's go to Harry Styles concert. Right. And now we're here for biology. My rules for the class are, I would like for you to have your cameras on. Please feel free to ask questions at any time. We're gonna start with intro to genetics. We're gonna find out why you likely have blonde hair and why your blood type is the way you are. I love biology though. And so I was very excited for this class and for Cheska, she's dope. Millions of years ago, we all came from Africa. Most people, let's say, they had brown eyes and then we mutated right and then there became blue eyes and green eyes and brown eyes so that is what an allele is so Cheska taught us about Punnett squares and genetics which if I'm remembering correctly was probably the easiest part of biology yeah because it's just like patterns and little chromosomes yeah la 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 so for your homework you could write down like traits that you have maybe your eye color and what your parents have we went in from biology like easy breezy beautiful cover girl <laughs> and then we joined the PE class I know it's a little odd trying to do PE virtually but also you're sitting at your desk all day so it's important that we get you up 
get you moving, get your blood pumping. The rules for this class are, I do need you to complete your workout. When we come to class, please have your cameras on. Best believe if that wasn't a rule, I would be in my pajamas in bed with my laptop on my chest like. <laughs> <laughs> so we have class Monday, Thursday. And so Tuesday, Wednesday, when we're not having our virtual session, I'm going to be sending you both a video workout to do as well as an assignment to complete for those days. She assigned us everything the first day and was like, oh, and you have to work out. Oh, and you have to do this. This is PE, not the Olympics. And I need you to check your emails more often because while Jazz, I love this beautiful dress you have on and I don't think is really quite the word we can use in our ah! I didn't think anyone would notice it with the internet quality. We'll see if anyone notices. Why would you even <laughs> tempt anybody well, to I notice? Didn't I didn't want to wear something scandalous, so I was like, I so wore a So you polo. only had scandalous things and a shirt that said Yes. No! <laughs> Look at what you're wearing now! I did say to come in your workout clothes for today. So for today, I want you to send me a one-page paper on what you've been doing so far as far as getting up, getting moving, and getting active. That is your punishment for not checking your emails. Why are we only two classes in and I'm exhausted? I don't want to do this anymore. All right, well, I'll see you in Spanish. Okay. Hi, everyone. So I want you to learn words and vocabulary that pertain to your interests so that you will retain the information in a way that will connect an experience. Let's take a deep breath. We started our class with breathing exercises. Oh, every time she did it too, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, breath. When I first started uh, learning Spanish, I filled up my days with, you know, Spanish speakers, listening to a bunch of Spanish. It was ingrained in my memory and it started to become more easier on my tongue. I felt really comfortable in this class, like learning from Maya, just because we've seen her go on her journey with speaking yes. Spanish. So the first thing that I'm gonna teach you guys basically is we all work at BuzzFeed, okay? Mm -hmm. So if somebody comes up to you and is like, like, where do you work in Spanish? You could say, yo trabajo en BuzzFeed. So Lindsay, do you wanna go first? I'll go. Yo trabajo en BuzzFeed. Yo trabajo BuzzFeed. We're speaking Spanish, but with an English accent. I want you guys to start using Spanish in your environment. I want you guys to write up some words or phrases you would like to, you know, say in Spanish. I also want you to find like a piece of media, whether it's a song or a video that is all in Spanish. So we had Mr. Saint just for Algebra. Welcome. So cute. To, because it's a math class, you see what I did there? Algebra. Mr. St. Just was absent from Monday's class. He couldn't make it in person, so he sent us an online pre-recorded class to watch in our spare time. I enjoyed that. We're gonna have negative six X plus one is less than 37. I am so good at algebra. So I was like actually really excited for this class. Not me. I am terrible at math. And it's not like I don't try. The worst part is I try very hard. After watching that lesson, I was like, this is only going to get harder. We have dun da 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 homework. Ooh. What I remember in high school is like, first day is a wash. You just show up looking cute in your first day back to school outfit. You don't have to worry about homework until the couple days later. But here we are writing a one page paper for PE. I'm just gonna say it right now. Coach Harrison is the queen of busy work. Yeah. We had to write a one page, single spaced, 12 point font, MLA format about what we do in quarantine to exercise. We're gonna go with honesty here. I'm not doing enough. I BS'd it and you actually put your heart and soul into yeah, it. Yeah, mine was very like a sad journal entry. <laughs> yeah. Keeping my body moving during quarantine has honestly been a struggle. I think I have done some work mentally and now I'm starting to do workout videos. I have been trying to do the videos as much as I can and trying to finish all the way through. I kind of reverted back to my high school ways of just trying as hard as I could and come in the next day and if it was wrong, it was wrong. My motto was get it right or you suck. <laughs> <laughs> day two of homeschool. I'm feeling still overwhelmed. I just feel like, oh, this is not like a good mental health week for me, but I'm hoping 
I can go into these classes and like learn some stuff and be attentive. I did not sleep enough last night. I don't feel good today. To say the least, I don't want to go to school today. So we started with biology again. We had biology every single day of the week. So did you have an interesting time writing traits down for your parents and yours? I've always been confused that I have blonde hair and blue eyes and my whole family has like brown hair and brown eyes. Let's go to an activity which is like the Punnett Square and go through like the, the stuff that you guys got. I think there's something going on with Lindsay and Cheska <laughs> and there's some favoritism. What? <laughs> Cheska's married. Every example was geared towards Lindsay. So when you were developing, probably you were still being conceived, you had 25% chance of having blue eyes and 75% chance of having brown eyes. For English class, we had Miss M again. Hi class, my name is Miss Makatangai or Miss M. I had you all last year. I don't want any spark notes. I want what you think about the text. If you break one of these, you will get a shrink. Ooh. Welcome to English with Miss Makatangai in quarantine. Yeah, I think we knew going into this that Miss M was like a little bit more involved yeah. than we would have hoped. We're gonna be talking about rhetorical devices. Yay. <laughs> there were so many definitions. Yeah. Alliteration, illusion, assonance, consonance, anecdote, symbolism, diction, irony, figurative language, personification, oxymoron, hyperbole. You honestly would have thought that we were actually like ninth graders. Right. For this assignment, I want you to find rhetorical devices in music. So for algebra class, I kind of went in there, like I said, not looking forward to it, but I just knew it was going to get more tough. I gave you guys a couple problems yesterday. How do you guys feel about the homework? I feel like I did amazing. I struggle with algebra. I'm not going to lie. It is not my strong suit. I now pay people to do math for me. <laughs> you can't have that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to give you something else today, which is quadratic equation. Now, now, quadratic equations are anything that has x to the second power. All right, Jazz, how you feeling? I'm just here. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do my biology homework. And reading the biology email, it says dimples. Dimples are dominant. No dimples is recessive. Harry Styles has the genotype DD. Well, Nam June from BTS has the genotype D, recessive D. If they ever had a biological child together, what is the likelihood that the child won't? have dimples. I can't! Best homework ever. I can't wait to find this out. Zero percent. This child is gonna have dimples. Oh, adorable. I picked none other than Fergie's song, Glamorous. I will never forget how to spell words like tasty, delicious, independent, and glamorous from Fergie's top hits, Fergalicious, Milf Money, and my personal favorite, Glamorous. Arguably one of the best songs birthed from our beloved boy band One Direction is their 2014 hit single, Steal My Girl. Not only is the song a total jam, but it paints a picture of a beautiful love story using several rhetorical devices. On Wednesday is when we started kind of getting into like the more difficult part of things, at least for me. Yeah. We were doing FOIL, which is the way that you break down polynomial equations. Parentheses x to the second minus 16 equals zero. With Spanish, I've been trying to like learn more on my own. I wrote down two phrases that I was interested in learning. I want a raise and run me my money. I want to learn how to say that I love Harry Styles and BTS. I showed Maya this song that I heard once at a poetry slam. K, like Q-U-E, perra mi amiga. Hey, perra mi amiga. It means female dog. I love this song. I love that um, you picked that one. <laughs> My media that I showed Maya was her own TikTok. Todo el mundo me dice, estás bien nalgona. <laughs> Pero nadie me dice nalgona. Estás bien. Estás bien. The joke was like, everyone tells me, wow, you have a big butt. But nobody tells me, big butt, are you okay? Doesn't make sense in English. So by the time biology came around, I hadn't eaten lunch yet and I was really hungry. And I had like 20-ish minutes and I was like, I'm gonna go get a milkshake and a burger. Oh my God, I literally left in between classes to go get I'm so hungry and I thought I had enough time, but now it's like literally biology right now and I'm gonna be like late. Oh, I hope I don't get 
I'm in trouble. You left to go get a burger? I quickly learned while I was waiting in line for my food mm. that things were taking a little bit longer than they normally do. He's two minutes late, let's get started. When I got back, class was done. <laughs> Basically. Bye, Lindsay. I thought I was being kicked out. <laughs> no, we're almost about to end. I'll just review terms for you. She did like a little recap for me, which was Nice. Unnecessary. Made me realize that the classes really didn't need to be as long as they were because she got them. <laughs> Honestly. She got through that recap in like 30 seconds. I saw that the both of you turned in your vlog posts. How was that exercise for you? I was surprised at how many there were. Songs are, there's a plethora of like rhetorical devices. I saw that you did it, you turned it in, you cited yeah. your lyrics and you used rhetorical devices. So A for everyone. <laughs> I've started the algebra homework. It's only one problem, but to be honest, it'll probably take forever. Look at me go. It's like a whole page. So I gotta do this foil method. I go X2. I think I did this correctly. Okay, but at least my homework's done. All right, now I'm trying to get PE homework. Can't believe I'm saying that, PE homework. <laughs> it's a crossword puzzle, which, how is this supposed to help me? We are supposed to do a workout every day, but not record it. So who's gonna know if we did it or not? Yeah, so, also, how can we do that when we're already working so much? I'm just gonna watch it. Right here, I'm gonna do some arm circles, but I this for about 30 seconds. <laughs> Oh my god, so it's important that we did these exercises because at the end of this video, she tells us an answer to one of the questions on the test. But I watched it. I watched it too. I was actually going to tell you to be a good friend and be like, mm -hmm. just so you know, this is at the end of the video. Yeah, same. But then I didn't. But then we turned out not doing that, not telling each other. Oh my God, I literally woke up, checked my email, saw that Jasmine submitted her crossword and remembered that I never submitted my crossword. I did the crossword so early in the day and then forgot to submit it. Oh, she's not gonna be happy with that. I completely forgot that we have PE first today, so put on my gym outfit. Well, how's the homework been so far? I wanna catch up a little bit before we get started. Lindsay, I feel like had something to say about that fill in the blank. What were you saying about it, Linz? I didn't say anything about the fill in the blank. What are you talking about? Something about it being busy work? I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking oh. Jasmine outed me. <laughs> You don't like my assignments, yet you don't turn them in on time. I did! Uh, you did have two days, so unfortunately, you're gonna have to get a zero on that. I was embarrassed and mad. Mostly <laughs> mad. Can you tell me what amino acids are? They make up protein. Amino organic acids compounds. are organic compound molecules that function every part of the body and are the building blocks of proteins. But then we had to do a workout together. Truly. We were both honestly screwed at this point. <laughs> and I want you guys to get into your jumping deck. Jasmine. What? Actual jumping jacks. I'm jumping! You don't have the time. boobs that I have! In and out. In and out. Y'all did a great job. Biology was the same old, same old. She introduced like bigger Punnett squares. I'm gonna teach you one more thing. So what if we're trying to do a Punnett square for, for two traits? It was more confusing than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. What's the first combination here? Okay, so it's B, lowercase d, uppercase B, lowercase d. Great. I hate it when teachers like, like the day introduce. before a test just be like, oh, here's this small thing that's gonna be on there. Remember it in 12 hours. Remember your terms. Remember how to do a Punnett square. That's okay. it. Algebra was great. We kind of just reviewed everything mm -hmm. as well. I figure since today is the last day, today is just focused on the review. Are we allowed to use a calculator for bad at factoring? Um, no, because unfortunately there are other things that could be used with that calculator. So in Spanish, she basically just told us that the test was open book. Yeah. AKA, easy A, baby. I have a couple of these action verbs here. I'll tell you the situation and ask you the question, and you're gonna have to repeat back. So let's say the full phrase. Estoy bailando con mis amigas. Estoy bailando con mis amigos. Perfect. For extra credit, if you guys wanted to do this, okay, I did translate the phrases that you guys wanted me to do. I think for you, Jazz, this is pagame mas, which is pay me more. Pagame okay. mas. Pagame mas. I love that. Me encanta Harry Styles y BTS. Yeah, perfect. All right, so now that the classes are officially done for the week, I have so much to study forth for the test, mainly 
English and PE because there's so much terminology that I have not been remembering. Okay, now here's the big thing for me, algebra. I've been talking about this all week and it honestly does not get easier. Coach Harrison just sent us an email. Hello ladies, as promised, if you checked your email, you were receiving a gift. <sighs> Attaches an extra credit assignment that will replace your lowest graded assignment. It's an assignment? What the f- I don't wanna do it. I probably should. I, I think I'm failing this class. She just had us identify our vocabulary words into the food pyramid. And I made a TikTok. The dairy, you know, the milk, the cheese, the butter, and that will give us calcium. <laughs> now moving over here to these meats, to the meats. That's where we get our iron from. I think the big thing that I'm gonna have to do tomorrow is just like take my time. Yo, if I fail, that would kind of suck. <laughs> Test is here. It is Friday, finally. I've decided to just dress up for this test because you gotta dress to impress. Principal also monitored our exam. Everyone, welcome to the final exam. I will be moderating to make sure there's no cheating. First up, we have the oral Spanish exam. So let's start with jazz first. <laughs> we are in the living room and the TV's on. So Jazz, hola, ¿qué estás haciendo? Estoy mirando el video, sí. <laughs> All right, Lindsay, we are at a party and everyone is doing a certain thing and even you, you're doing a certain thing. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Hola, estoy bailando con mis amigas. Now we're gonna go to the extra credit part. There were phrases that I had translated for you guys. If you guys remember those phrases, you can say them now. Pagame mas. Yes, queen. Otra vez, one more time. Pagame mas. Y Lindsay. Me encanta. Here's times. Love it. To the second part of the final exam, this one will be written. You will have 20 minutes to complete the test. No cheating have ways of seeing your screen, so start now. I really need to write this stuff off. No talking. Oh, sorry. What are you holding? What are you looking at? I have to write out this thing because we've done it on paper. Please hold it up so <laughs> I, can't I can do see it on, on the computer. Can. All I'm doing is making a Punnett square. Mm-hmm. I don't get how teachers do this. This is so boring waiting. Taking a test. <laughs> I'm the principal of BuzzFeed High. Five, four, three, two, one. Pencils and fingers down. Test is over. Congratulations, or maybe we'll see. Starting with biology. Jazz, you passed biology, congrats. Lindsay, you got one out of three, so you failed. All right, moving on to the physical education. I mean, you both got one question wrong, and I think that's enough to pass. So you both yeah. passed. Did you cheat? <laughs> Did you? No! You cheated! Going on to math, Jazz, you missed one, so you passed. There's a controversial answer for Lindsay's on the second one. You missed the other two. What do you mean I missed the other two? I thought I got the first one right, X equals six. Oh, you're right, you did. <laughs> you both passed, so congrats. And moving on to English, you guys are superstars on this one. 100%, you guys know how to speak your native language, so congrats. <laughs> and you passed the oral exam for Spanish, so. Yes! I think you passed the final exam. Yay! So we know that this whole experiment was heightened because yeah. we got homework for every class, we had an intense test, but also like we went through the same struggles of like not understanding stuff. It's hard to like feel good with learning from online from like the fact that we can't see our friends, even your extracurriculars, you know? High school is worth like social completely. expression, but you completely lose that during yeah. the pandemic or just mm -hmm. doing school online. We both passed though. We did it though. Yeah. And at this point, that's all that mattered. Truly.